Afghanistan is a landlocked country in South Asia. It has a diverse population with a rich culture, history and tradition. The country has been in a state of ongoing war and political instability since the fall of the Taliban government in 2001. The economy of Afghanistan is largely based on agriculture and it has significant deposits of natural resources. Afghanistan is a member of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation or SARC. Now let's talk about the emblem and the flag. The national flag of Afghanistan features three equal vertical stripes of black, red and green. The black stripe represents the dark past of Afghanistan, the red stripe represents the bloodshed for independence and the green stripe represents hope for a bright future. The national emblem of Afghanistan is a mosque with the pulpit and flags on either side. Below the mosque are Eastern Arabic numerals for the solar year 1298. This central image is circled by a border consisting of sheaves of wheat on the left side and the right side. In the upper center is an Arabic inscription of the Shahada or which is called the Muslim Creed. Below which are rays of the rising sun of the Takbir, Arabic expression meaning God is great. And at bottom center is a scroll bearing the name Afghanistan. But now they use white background and Shahada in front as their flag. Now let's talk why this country is called Afghanistan. The name Afghanistan comes from the ethnic group known as Pashtuns who have traditionally inhabited the region. The word Afghan means Pashtun and the suffix Tan means place of in Persian and many other Indo-Iranian languages. Therefore Afghanistan literally means the place of the Pashtuns. The location and administrative areas of Afghanistan. Afghanistan is a landlocked country located in South Central Asia. It is bordered by Pakistan to the east and south, Iran to the west, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan to the north and China to the northeast. The country has an area of approximately 252,000 square miles. Administratively, Afghanistan is divided into 34 provinces, each governed by a governor appointed by the president of Afghanistan. The provinces are further divided into districts which are governed by the district governors. The capital city of Afghanistan is Kabul which is also the country's largest city. Now let's talk about my favorite part, the history. <music> Afghanistan has a long and complex history. The region has been continuously inhabited for thousands of years and has been ruled by various empires and kingdoms throughout the history. In the early 19th century, the region came under the control of the British Empire. But after World War II, the country gained independence in 1919. In the 1970s, a communist government took power and Soviet Union invaded the country in 1979. This led to a long and devastating civil war between the communist government and various Mujahideen groups, supported by the United States and other countries. In 1996, the Taliban and Islamic group came to power and established a strict Islamic government. In 2001, the United States, with the support of the other countries, invaded Afghanistan and overthrew the Taliban government in response response to the 9-11 attack. Since then, Afghanistan has been in a state of ongoing conflict with the Taliban and other militant groups continuing to fight against the government and international forces. The country also struggled with poverty, corruption and the lack of basic services and infrastructure. Despite these challenges, there have also been efforts to rebuild and modernize the country and the government has made some progress in areas such as education and economic development. After all these events, Taliban regained its power in the year 2021. Politics and relations with other countries. Afghanistan has had a tumultuous political history marked by conflicts and power struggles. Since the fall of the Taliban government in 2001, the country has been in a state of ongoing war and political instability. The government of Afghanistan is a federal presidential representative democratic republic with the president of the Afghanistan as the head of the state and the CEO of the government. Afghanistan has had a complex relationships with other countries, particularly those in the region. Historically, Afghanistan has been caught in a power struggle between neighboring countries, such as Pakistan and Iran, and has has also been influenced by larger global powers such as the United States and Russia. Additionally, Afghanistan has also relations with India and is a member of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation or SARC. The Economy of Afghanistan <laughs> 
The economy of Afghanistan is largely based on agriculture, which employs around 42% of the population and accounts for about 25% of the country's GDP. The country also has significant deposits of natural resources, including coal, natural gas, and precious and semi-precious stones. However, the ongoing conflict and political instability have hindered the development of these resources. The service sector is also an important part of the economy, accounting for about 25% of the GDP. The country has a large informal economy, which is not included in the official GDP figures. Afghanistan has been heavily dependent on foreign aid, with international donors providing billions of dollars in assistance each year. However, the country has also been making efforts to develop its own economy and reduce its dependence on aid. This includes the development of infrastructure such as roads and power plants and the expansion of the private sector. The government of Afghanistan has also been working to attract foreign investments, particularly in the areas of mining, agriculture and energy. Additionally, Afghanistan's economy is heavily dependent on trade with its neighboring countries, particularly Pakistan, Iran and Central Asian countries. The demography of Afghanistan. Afghanistan is a diverse country with a population of around 38 million people, according to a 2019 estimate. The largest ethnic group in the country is the Pashtuns, who make up around 42% of the population. Other major ethnic groups include Tajiks 27%, Hazaras 9%, Uzbek 9%, and Aymak 1%. There are also smaller ethnic groups such as Turkmen, Baloch, and Pashai. The official language of Afghanistan is Dari, which is a dialect of Persian and is spoken by around 50% of the population. Pashto, which is spoken by around 35% of the population, is also an official language. Other languages spoken in the country include Uzbek, Turkmen, and Balochi. The population of Afghanistan is primarily Muslim, with around 99% of the population adhering to Islam. The majority of Muslims in Afghanistan are Sunni, while a minority are Shia. There are also smaller numbers of Hindus, Sikhs, and Buddhists. Afghanistan has a relatively young population, with around 60% of the population under the age of 25. The country also has a high fertility rate, with an average of 5 children per woman. The military power. The military of Afghanistan is composed of the Afghan National Army or ANA and the Afghan National Police or ANP. The ANA is responsible for the defense of the country while the ANP is responsible for the maintaining internal security. The Minister of Defense and the Minister of Interior are responsible for the overall management and direction of the military and police forces. The size of the Afghan security forces has grown significantly since the fall of the Taliban government in 2001. As of 2021, the Afghan National Army and the Afghan National Police had an approximate strength around 350,000 and 160,000 personnel respectively. The Afghan National Army is equipped with a mix of modern and older weapon systems. The United States has been the main supplier of the military equipment to the ANA, providing a variety of weapons including small arms, artillery and armored vehicles. Additionally, Russia, India and other countries have also provided some military assistance. The Afghan Air Force is the air arm of the Afghan Armed Forces. The AAF currently operates a small fleet of aircrafts, mostly composed of Russian-made aircraft such as Mi-17 and Mi-35 helicopters and a few transport aircraft. The AAF is undergoing modernization and expansion with the goal of increasing its capabilities and independence. The Afghan National Defense and Security Forces have been involved in ongoing conflicts against the Taliban and other insurgent groups since the fall of the Taliban government in 2001. Despite ongoing efforts to build and train the Afghan security forces, the country remains heavily dependent on foreign military assistance, particularly from the United States and NATO to maintain security and fight against the Taliban and other insurgent groups. Afghanistan has a rich and diverse culture that has been shaped by its history and geography. The country has been a crossroads of trade and culture for centuries and has been influenced by a variety of different civilizations. One of the most important aspects of Afghan culture is its strong tradition of hospitality, which is known as Melmastia. This tradition is deeply ingrained in Afghan society and is considered a fundamental aspect of the culture. Hospitality is extended to guests and strangers regardless of their background or status and is considered a moral obligation. Afghanistan also has a rich history of art, poetry and music. The country's traditional music is known for its use of a wide range of instruments including the rubab, sitar and tabla. Afghan poetry is also an important part of the culture, with many famous poets have been emerged from the country. The traditional dress of Afghanistan varies depending on the region and the ethnic group. The most common traditional dress for men is shalwar kameez, which is a long tunic worn over loose-fitting pants. Women typically wear the burqa, a full body covering that includes a veil. 
Language is an important aspect of Afghan culture, with Darwi and Pashto being the official language of the country. Dari is a dialect of Persian, while Pashto is a member of the Indo-Iranian languages family. Other languages spoken in Afghanistan include Uzbek, Turkmen and Balochi. Afghan culture is also heavily influenced by its Islamic heritage with religious customs and practices playing an important role in the daily life. Mosques and madrasas, which is also called Islamic schools, are in an integral part of Afghanistan society and culture. And religious festivals and events are celebrated throughout the year. Places of Interests Afghanistan is a home of various important historical and cultural places that you must visit. Some of them are Bamiyan. The UNESCO World Heritage Site is famous for its huge statues of Buddha carved into the cliff, which were destroyed by the Taliban in 2001. The area also contains several other historical sites, including the remains of the monasteries, temples and stupas. Hirat. This city in western Afghanistan is known for its well-preserved medieval architecture, including the Friday Mosque, which dates back to the 15th century, and the citadel of Hirat. The city also has a rich history of art, music, and poetry. Kabul, the capital city of Afghanistan, is home to a number of historical and cultural sites, including the National Museum of Afghanistan, which houses an extensive collection of artifacts from the country's pre-Islamic and Islamic past. Mazari Sharif This city in northern Afghanistan is known for the Blue Mosque, which is an important pilgrimage site for the Shia Muslims. Minaret of Jam This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a 12th century minaret located in western Afghanistan and is one of the best preserved examples of Islamic architecture from the Gurid period. Pagman A small town located in the outskirts of Kabul is famous for its scenic gardens and the Pagman Palace, which was built during the early 20th century. Shahari Johak This ancient city located in western Afghanistan is believed to date back to the 10th century and contains the remains of a palace, a citadel, and a number of other buildings. Additionally, Afghanistan has a rich natural landscape with rugged mountains, glaciers, and valleys, making it an ideal destination for those who are interested in adventure, tourism and trekking. Now last but not the least, let's talk about the important persons. There have been several notable figures in the history of Afghanistan who have played important roles in the country's politics, culture and society. Hamid Karzai He was the president of Afghanistan from 2004 to 2014. Karzai was the first democratically elected president of Afghanistan and he played a key role in the establishment of the current Afghanistan government following the fall of the Taliban in 2001. Abdullah Abdullah He was a politician and chief executive of Afghanistan. Ahmad Shah Massoud he was a military leader and politician who was a key figure in the resistance against the Soviet occupation of Afghanistan in the 1980s and the Taliban in 1990s. He was known as a Lion of Panjshir and his death on 9 September 2001 was a huge loss for the Afghan resistance. Ranjin Dadfar Spanta He served as the National Security Advisor of Afghanistan and has played a key role in the country's politics and foreign policy. Malalai Joya she is a feminist, politician and human rights activist who was the youngest person ever elected to the Afghan parliament in 2005. She has been a vocal critic of the warlords and corruption in Afghanistan. Jahir Shah He was the last king of Afghanistan and resigned from 1933 to 1973. He is remembered for his efforts to modernize the country and promote education. And his return to the country in 2002 was seen as a symbol of hope for a peaceful and stable future for the Afghanistan. These are the some of the notable figures of Afghanistan but there there are also other many important people in the country who have played a significant role in the shaping its history and culture. So that's all for Afghanistan. Share this video with your friends. See you in the next video.